Hi there. My name is Blaine Perkins, and the music demo you just heard was created with this do-it-yourself virtual analog digital monosynth module that I call the BP synth. As you can see, it is built using parts that can all fit in the palm of your hand. The BP letters in the synth's name come from this black pill development board. It also happens to be the initials of my name. There are two main components to building this synthesizer. The black pill development board, which costs around $6, and a digital analog converter module that costs around $5. Additional parts required are a 6N137 Opto Isolator IC chip, two resistors, a diode, and a 5 pin MIDI jack to build the MIDI interface. All these parts should only add a few more dollars to the build cost. This example was built using a breadboard to mount it and make all the proper connections. Many of you may already have one of these. But you could also mount it onto a protoboard of some sort and solder your parts together for a more permanent build. Soldering is required, either way you choose to build it. The BP synth can be powered either by using the USB C port or the ST Link dongle connection. In order to play the synthesizer, you will need a MIDI keyboard, preferably, a controller MIDI keyboard that you can create custom control change knobs so you can change the parameters on the BP synth without the use of a computer. Ideally, you will have both a USB MIDI controller keyboard and a computer that has my custom GUI controller app that will allow you to quickly change parameters on the synth. Neither the bare bones synth nor my colorful GUI app is pretty to look at. But the sound this cheap little synth can produce is pretty phenomenal in my opinion. Now let's take a look at some of the features. The BP synth oscillators can produce several different waveforms. Saw, square, triangle, sine, Wave Shaper, and Noise. Two featured voices are a small super saw that has three detunable saw waves. and a two saw wave version as well. <laughs> Additionally, one of the saw waves in these multi-oscillator voices can be separately detuned by as much as one octave using a coarse tuning control for a sub-oscillator effect. Does it have pulse width modulation? You betcha it does. The square and wave shaping waveforms can be pulse width modulated either manually with a dedicated LFO by following the filter envelope generator. You can also hard sync to produce even more amazing sounds. It can do pitch bending. Vibrato can be applied to the oscillators using a dedicated vibrato LFO with several different waveforms.
must not leave out the fact that there is also a portamento effect included. <coughs> And if you get bored with all of that, there's also a auto pitch bender with a simple attack, release, sustain envelope generator with depth control. The BP Sense virtual analog filter gives you a choice of using a low pass filter. or a high pass filter there are cutoff and resonance controls a dedicated envelope generator and key tracking There's a dedicated LFO modulator with multiple waveforms. And both the filter cutoff and filter's LFO speed can be influenced by key velocity. Amplitude can be modulated using the amp envelope generator key velocity, and a dedicated LFO that borrows the same waveform that the vibrato LFO is set to. Both the amp and filter envelopes can be triggered in standard or legato mode. A simple arpeggiator is included that you can play either manually Or it can be put in hold mode where you play your chord and when you let it go it keeps playing until you play a new chord. You can choose from three different patterns. Up. Down. And bounce. Selectable note size can be whole, half, quarter, eighth, sixteenth, and thirty second. There's also a manual tempo adjustment. And finally, you can sync the appurgiator to some drum machines so the drum machine controls the tempo rate.
There are two effects included. Stereo digital delay with time, feedback, wet mix control, and a stereo expander that can create ping pong delay effects. The phaser has rate, feedback, and wet mix controls and can provide a nice phasing effect. Many of the parameters can be routed to the mod wheel for customized expression of your synth sounds. Up to three parameters can be assigned to the mod wheel at the same time. All of these features for $18 in parts? What's the catch? Well, there are a few cons to go with this build. First and foremost, this is an experimental synth designed for educational purposes. In its current form, it was put together so that a series of educational videos can explain how the synthesizer was programmed. Also, being experimental, the synthesizer can be pushed beyond the computational power of the little microcontroller. While it is truly amazing just how much can be done with a $6 development board, there is going to be a point where too many features are being used at the same time, causing the audio stream to cut out or even make the microcontroller itself crash and cease producing sound until a full reset is performed. This is not a professional synth. It's meant to have fun with while you learn. In the next video, we will go over the parts, supplies, and where you can find them. Additional videos will show you how to build the synth, soldering the pins to the boards, and making the connections using a breadboard. Then you'll download some software used to flash the code to the black pill board so you can hook it up to a keyboard and begin playing it. If there appears to be a good number of video views, likes, and subscribes with many successful builds of the BP Synth, then educational videos will start to be released along with open source code to use with the lessons. These educational videos will help you completely understand how the synthesizer works and how it was programmed. Once you get a good understanding of how the code works, you'll be able to customize the BP Synth into something that you want it to be. Maybe you want it to have a simple sequencer, or create a set of oscillator combinations that suit you. Ultimately, it is my hope that many of you out there that have little to no experience programming in C or other languages will be inspired to educate themselves to understand and write code. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next video.